Hi, it's me Claire and um, I'm doing a video um, in response to some comments I made on another person's video about waist cinching. First of all, waist cinching is when a woman wears a corset and slowly over a matter of weeks and months uh, adjusts the corset, laces it tighter and tighter to cinch her waist into being smaller. Um, I commented that it's really dangerous to do that and um, a lot of people wrote to me and they were like well why and what was your experience so I decided to make a video about it I was a dancer for 13 years in my life and uh, I wore corsets during that time because I myself do not have much of a waist um, between my hip bone and the top of my hip bone and my last rib there's maybe about this much Space, about this much space uh, literally so the corsets were you know forming my body to make it look like I had a waist which was necessary um, because in some of the shows you dance with other women and you need to look you know pretty uniform and pretty you know you need to look the same so a waist was a must um, I don't have any hips uh, or much of hi I do have hips but not much ass or hips or legs or anything. I'm very top heavy. So the corsets made me form me into having an hourglass figure, which was necessary for my job. Um, they were custom made corsets made from seamstresses, from different seamstresses. Um, they were properly laced. I had help getting in and out of them. Um, and um, what happened was I wore them quite a bit and um, they permanently damaged my body. Um, I also am chronically ill. I have systemic lupus rheumatoidus. And um, I'm going to say, you know, wearing the corsets did not help that out one bit. That and the 12 to 13 inch high heels I was wearing to dance in because I'm only 5 foot 2. And I needed to be at least a foot taller to, you know, fit into that look. Um, what happened was um, the corsets uh, pushed in my ribs on both sides, but especially on the right side. Um... They were laced properly, but I, because of I'm right-handed, I'm right-legged, I'm going to call it. I, dancers will know what I'm talking about. Um, my muscles didn't form properly, and now what happens is I have flank pain. My ribs are pushed in on the right side more than they are on the left side. My body is sort of crooked, and um, my hip bone pops out of its joint because the muscles didn't develop properly over the years Um you know, like they should have. Um, waist cinching is not a safe thing to do. It's, it's, um, historically we know that women used to wear corsets uh, a lot back in the day for a hundred years ago, 200 years ago, and they would actually pass out from wearing the corsets because there's a huge vein that runs through your body cavity and if you tighten up that corset enough, it's going to restrict the blood flow. Um, also, you know, women used to die from uterine prolapses due to corset wearing, which, because the corset pushes your uterus down into a position that it shouldn't be in. Um, and you know, you, it can prolapse actually, and women would actually die from that back in the day because there wasn't a doctor that could just, you know, cut that out or clean it or whatever they do, would do now in that situation. Um, I didn't like, I don't like the waist cinching videos that make it sound like it's A-OK -okay and safe. Um, we have to be responsible for what we post on the internet and um, there is teenagers watching that and there is all kinds of women who really, really will do anything, almost anything to fit into the beauty ideal that's pushed upon them for, by the media um, that's impossible for us to achieve because every single picture that's in a magazine has been airbrushed and touched up even even TV commercials the women that you know if I, if I was doing a professional commercial they would go in and they would get rid of all of these spots they would make my hair look longer my ne neck look longer my eyes look bigger um, and my waist look smaller it's impossible um, uh, what happened to me is really medically documented I've, I've, I went to the doctor I have MRIs done I've had all kinds of stuff I've got x-rays I've got medical documents which say you know there's some damage here and damage there um like i said it did not help my chronic illness one bit uh, if i could go back in time i would not have worn them um i i uh 
you know, I have enough pain as it is, and this just this just makes it worse. This is definitely not good. Um, also, somebody commented on the on that video. There was another comment that said, "Yeah, well, women's organs are made to move around like they do in pregnancy." I just want to say that you know, I mean, I'm just a normal person, but I have medical knowledge. Uh, and when you're pregnant, you know, your body produces hormones that soften bones and tissues that actually make it easier for the organs and the bones to move around to make room for the baby. But as soon as you have the baby, as soon as the baby is out of your body, those hormones are not produced anymore and your bones and tissues go back to the original consistency. And, um, and it's not, you know, it's not like you can just move them around without doing any damage. Um, it's damaging. It's not safe. And, um, that's my opinion on it based on my personal experiences. I say no to corsets. If you want to wear one once in a while to go out or something or with some fancy outfit or maybe with jeans or something once in a blue moon, I think that's okay. But to send to your waist, I mean, geez, there's a million other ways to get a small waist. You can, you can do sit-ups. You can do exercises. You can do millions of healthier things to get a, get a smaller waist. And if you're built like I am... You're just going to have to be happy with what you got, which uh, I don't have any bottom on me, but man, I got a serious top. So that was my answer, and I hope I answered all your questions. And if I didn't, go on and leave a comment in the box. Please be respectful. I don't feel like arguing with you. Um, I am just giving my personal information and my opinion on it. Don't do it. Ladies... <laughs> We don't need to be killing ourselves just to fit in. I mean, that's just, we don't. Believe me, I speak from experience. So y'all have a nice day and peace.